Good morning, distinguished panelists and guests, viewers in Singapore and from across the world, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us today for the second Singapore Geospatial Week event. This marquee event is organized by GeoWorks, uh, the Geospatial Industry Centre in Singapore, managed by the Singapore Land Authority. My name is Michael and I will be your MC for today. Today marks a milestone for GeoWorks and it is the first time we are holding this event virtually. This means we are delighted to welcome speakers and panelists not only from Singapore but from a wide range of countries including Australia, Finland, Indonesia, Japan, Thailand, the US and the UK. Over the next 10 days, we will all be celebrating everything geospatial. You will have access to over 60 webinars conducted by many leading geospatial experts in their field as well as many new and innovative companies working on the forefront of the industry. And that is the reason why we decided to call this year's celebrations Singapore Geospatial Week Plus 2020. To kickstart our program for today, we would now like to invite our Acting Chief Executive for Singapore Land Authority, Mr. Simon Ong, to say a few words. Mr. Ong. Thank you, Michael. Good morning. Our guest of honor, Mr. Tan Peng Yam, uh, Government Smart Nations and Digital Government Office, Prime Minister's Office. Mr. Yeo Jin, Chairman, uh, Singapore Land Authority. Mr. Loli Peng, Deputy Chairman, uh, Singapore Land Authority. Distinguished panelists and speaker, ladies and gentlemen. I'm heartened to see so many of you here today with us online at our second Singapore Geospatial Week event. When we first mooted the idea of creating a Singapore Geospatial Week a year and a half ago, we did not anticipate we would get such an overwhelming response from the geospatial industry. We thought it was a good occasion to celebrate and encourage the use of geospatial technology and information supporting our Smart Nation initiative. We had imagined a limited one-week event attended by a selection of experts and attended by a small group of geospatial enthusiasts. We did not imagine that in just our second year, we will be organizing an expanded two-week program speaking to an international audience play host to over 60 webinars and having over 80 speakers and panelists from around the region contributing their time, knowledge and expertise to our event. I'm deeply humbled by the industry response and would like to thank everyone here today who have contributed to the success of Singapore Geospatial Week Plus 2020. The importance of geospatials cannot be emphasized more, especially in today's environment. For example, the current COVID-19 pandemic has driven the need for businesses to use geospatial information and location-based data to develop new crowd management applications that takes into consideration safe distancing measures so that the public can make informed decisions to protect themselves. Geospatial can also be used as a collab collaborative tool when responding to pandemic. By combining different data types and technology based on location, businesses can understand people movement pattern and deploy the necessary resources to protect their staff and the community. SLA, as a national geospatial agency for Singapore, has always advocated the use of geospatial technology and information to improve business processes and decision making. And to bring geospatial organizations together for innovation, we will continue to stress this need and take proactive step, steps to encourage the adoptions of geospatial technology across multiple industries, whether it's in built and infrastructure, mobility and logistics, real estates and retail, or urban and environments. Singapore Geospatial Week is our commitment to that aim and we hope the activity organized over these two weeks will provide interest, excitement and inspiration for the next generations of entrepreneurs and leaders to use geospatial technology 
for the good of businesses and the community alike. To this end, we also hope that this event will encourage other organizations to consider holding their own geospatial day in Singapore and elsewhere in the world so that everyone becomes aware and familiarized with the power that geospatial technology can bring. And perhaps one day in the future, we can look back to 2020 and see Singapore Geospatial Week as the seed that would eventually grow to become the premier regional or global geospatial celebration. We look forward to that day. With that, we wish you all a sincere welcome to Singapore Geospatial Week Plus 2020. We hope you will have a fruitful, instructive, and rich learning experience on all things geospatial. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Mr. Ong. We would now like to invite our guest of honor, Deputy Secretary for Smart Nation and Digital Government, Mr. Tan Kok Yam, to give his speech. Thank you. Uh, uh, Chairman uh, of uh, SLA, uh, Mr. Yo, friends, uh, colleagues, uh, fellow participants, I am uh, honored to be be here today to speak to all of you. Uh, Simon was saying that he was humbled by participation and I even more so because uh, I'm clearly a non-expert uh, gathered in the midst of uh, 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 geospatial experts like yourselves. Uh, I thought I should start uh, first by acknowledging the strange circumstances that we are meeting. Uh, discussed geographically but unified by a common interest uh, to promote geospatial technology. Uh, this is uh, indeed the sign of our times. Now, still, uh, despite virtual uh, meetings and, 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 uh, and uh, working from home, everything has to happen somewhere. Even if you're logging in virtually to a meeting, you are at some location. And for a few of you, that location could be half a time zone. Well, not half time zone, could be a completely different time zone away from us. Uh, so we thank you for, for being here now. Uh, your device is connected by communication and computing facilities that have to be sited somewhere. Uh, it is powered from a switch box, uh, by a power station that are all located at some place uh, in your neighborhood. And because location binds all our activities, an understanding of the spatial and temporal aspect of these activities is key to gaining the awareness and insights to predict situations, respond to problems, address challenges. Now, geospatial technology and its intel intelligent application are therefore very much part of what makes a city, a nation smart. And not just human activities, but even the activities of viruses. COVID-19 spreads from source to source over space and time. Its transmission and impact on society is linked to proximity between people. Therefore, geospatial technology and approaches can help us respond to the pandemic more effectively. Dashboards have sprouted not just in Singapore, I'm sure, to enable the authorities to track what's going on. Many a times, a combination of geospatial and other forms of data uh, is used. So I understand that in the US, the social vulnerability index uh, and population data are being combined to good effect uh, with hospital locations to predict where communities may need more hospital beds and healthcare uh, workers. And it's not just information for the authorities and planners. Geospatial platforms are being used to keep the citizenry informed. So our own uh, open data sharing platform in Singapore, OneMap, uh, provides uh, citizens with COVID-19 related community information and services, such as uh, where, where to collect your mask. Uh, our agencies uh, use the geospatial platform to share crowd data with residents, so that when we lifted our circuit breaker some months ago, people knew where to go uh, to avoid crowds. Uh, globally, various countries have created situational awareness dashboards like ours to report different COVID-19 conditions, food distribution, food traffic, and so on. And in Korea, I think that platform can even tell you where an infected case might have had uh, visited. So I believe that the problems we share, uh, the problems we are tackling, are similar enough uh, for us to share our future experiences. Even if the policies and, uh, and approaches that we take to respond to the crisis uh, may differ. Now, after all, at the biological level, it is the same virus. Uh, we are also similarly facing 
uh, social and economic fallout arising from lockdowns, circuit breakers, general public health caution. So I think there is much uh, that this community can learn from one another and we cannot find a more urgent time uh, that this uh, will do so. But even as we deal with the crisis at hand, uh, we should also look forward uh, to emerge from this stronger and more ready to take on future challenges. Building for a sustainable future is one such challenge. In a way, this is different from dealing with a pandemic uh, for obvious reasons, but it is also similar in that the challenge is global in nature, it requires a global response, and there's much to collaborate and learn uh, from one another. So here again, geospatial technology can play a decisive role. Practical ways to use geospatial tech in the space of sustainability abound. Simple examples include the use of satellite imagery to detect wastewater leakage and overlaying that with demographic data to assess where the affected population is. Or using telecom data, telco data, to locate people and supplement sparsely available population data. And in Singapore, uh, we are combining geospatial information from the transport and energy domains to work out how best to adapt our power infrastructure to support pervasive vehicle electrification for cleaner air and lower carbon emission. And finally, like everything else we do in our Smart Nation effort in geospatial tech, uh, we see partnership with the industry as a key ingredient, uh, a key success factor. Uh, to this end, I think the SLA has uh, formed GeoWorks, uh, who is uh, also the organizer of uh, this event, of course, a center that promotes uh, business growth, craft innovation, basically connect people in, in this space. Uh, GeoWorks run workshops and trainings, organizes Geo challenges to spur innovation. For example, um, they had a challenge on supply chain, chain management uh, that was uh, done in partnership with the Singapore Logistics Association. GeoWorks also catalyzes collaboration. For example, the recently launched uh, 3D Singapore Sandbox at GeoWorks helps public agencies and businesses uh, cold drive experimentation in 3D geospatial data, uh, bringing government data together with solutions from various uh, industry players. So I believe a lot more can be done together with industry, uh, even as uh, new techniques and approaches are being advanced in this space. So indeed, uh, partnership is key. Uh, at this time of closed borders and constrained travel, Singapore as a small country must remain open for ideas, must remain open for business. Globally, as I said, there's no more urgent time to seek out collaborations and exchange ideas and experiences to deal with the common core problems, common and urgent problems we all face. So the next few days will be a great opportunity for us to do so. And with this, I'm pleased to announce the launch of the Singapore Geospatial Week uh, 2020. Thank you. Every day, millions of people use geospatial to make their lives easier. It's driving to their next appointment, or getting food delivered to their home, or finding out where their next home is going to be. Decisions are no longer made on just the what and the why. They are also made on the where. Millions use maps to navigate the world they live in. And as the world gets more complex, the need for geospatial becomes even more critical for your business and your personal life. GeoWorks is Singapore's geospatial industry center launched by Singapore Land Authority in 2018 to spearhead the growth of geospatial adoption in Singapore and beyond. Our goal is to build a vibrant ecosystem, to promote business growth, drive innovation, and foster a well-connected geospatial community. Under our Geo Innovation Program, we run regular workshops, training sessions, community events, and more. Companies can tap on resources facilitated by GeoWorks, such as the OneMap and OneMap 3D open source platforms, or the 3D Singapore Sandbox, housed on-premise at GeoWorks. But most of all, premier geospatial event in Singapore, Singapore Geospatial Week Plus 2020. We aim to bring together the geospatial community to celebrate all things geospatial 
in a series of presentations, panel discussions, and geo marketplace talks. From build and infrastructure to mobility and logistics, from real estate and retail to urban and environment, over 60 webinars presented by experts from Singapore and across the world. The need for geospatial is now more important than ever before. And Singapore Geospatial Week is its center. Join us as we go geospatial now. This event is brought to you by our following partners. Visit GeoWorks today and connect with us. And with that, we are delighted to officially announce the launch of Singapore Geospatial Week Plus 2020. We'd like to thank the Deputy Secretary for Smart Nation and Digital Government, Mr. Tan Kok Yam, and Mr. Simon Ong, SLA's Acting Chief Executive, for opening today's event.